Hi guys, Jazz from Reach HQ here. I hope you're well. If you need anything, as always, you know I'm here. Please drop me a line and I'll do whatever it is I can to help. Whether it's business, doesn't really matter. Um, we're all going through tough times at this currently unprecedented time in human history. So please don't suffer alone and don't suffer in silence. So what I wanted to talk about on today's video was the importance of being your own cheerleader. You see, in business, I hope you'll all agree with me, we have a habit of focusing on what we did wrong or what we're not good at and we beat ourselves up. That's a default setting and we need to work on that because that is, well, it's not healthy, it's not productive, it's not conducive to long-term success. And what's important that we do is that we focus a little bit of our time on the things that we have done well. Because here's the thing, if we are not our own cheerleaders, nobody's going to do it for us. And that is the absolute truth. You know, we, I think, especially us Brits, we think that if we shout about what it is we've done, if we celebrate successes, if we talk about them on our website, people are going to think we're being show-offy, we're being arrogant, we're being cocky, and therefore we don't. And I, I, I want to change that around because, as I said, if we don't be our own cheerleaders, nobody's going to do it for us. So why don't we go out there and start looking for those good things that we've done? And more importantly, when we've identified what they are, let's put them on our website. Let's put them on our social media. Let's shout about them. Let's not worry about that small percentage of people who think we're showing off. You know, those percentage of people, you don't need to worry about them because you don't want to be working with those people anyway. What you want to be working with is those people that respect the fact that you have had success. They acknowledge that and they're aware of it and it starts their thought processes around the fact that you must be doing something well. Let's focus on sending a message to those people. And, and also folks, let's not, let's not forget that there's a fine line between confidence and arrogance. You see, confidence is a really, really attractive trait. People are attracted to confident people and confident businesses. Whereas arrogance is a horrible, negative, nasty trait. There's a very, very fine line and you've got to make sure that you don't fall the wrong side of that line. But once you've got that clear, please, please focus on what you do well and become your own cheerleader because nobody else is going to do it for you. I hope that helps. I hope it's got you thinking. If it has, please comment below and please feel free to share. In the meantime, stay safe and stay healthy.